Good things come to those who wait. And in Australia, that's usually the case. Some things take ages to get released here, but man, when they do touch down on Aussie shores, totally worth it. The sad side of the story is, not everything makes it here. Sometimes to get our fingers on the best tech, we need to take matters into our own hands. Some brand new hardware arrived at the docks tonight, hand delivered by the Atari Militia. But luckily for you dudes, I knew about it weeks ago, and I already made plans to pick it up. The Atari Jaguar. Citizens weren't meant to know about it yet. Highly classified. Getting it was only half the problem. In this box is a roaring jungle cat. And tonight, we're going to set it free. Listen to it purr. So, you might be thinking, why is there so much interest in this one console? Well dudes, it's because people are scared. I mean, this is the first time a home console was able to blaze along at 64 bits of raw gaming power. No one knows what to expect. The government, they're understandably worried that, you know, if some tech heads could get their hands on this, they could harness the five processors and 64 bits of power to do some really amazing things no one thought was possible. So the Jaguar, it was built with power in mind. It's got a sleek, uncluttered design that says, I'm a finely honed killing machine. And dudes, it's seriously not bluffing. It's got five processors. And that is some serious computing power. The concept of bits in video games gets thrown around heaps. So let me break it down for you. Atari Jaguar, 64 bits. It's basically the same as daisy chaining four Mega Drives together, or two Super Nintendos and a 32X, or even eight Nintendos. It's seriously got a lot of computing power. And obviously, where that shines through the most is in the games. So I managed to get my hands on a bunch of Jag games. And you know, it's pretty obvious, this ain't no kids console. The games are hardcore, blistering fast, and have full CD quality sound. So, Atari's secret weapon has a secret weapon. Alien vs Predator. And it's not all about shooting the bad guys and pissing all over them. I mean, this game is more intense than that. The Atari Jaguar experience, it's heaps more refined. This game, it's all about survival. Doesn't matter if you try out the Marine, Alien or Predator campaigns first, you'll be put into a totally unfamiliar environment. You against an army of enemies with some pretty much impossible tasks. These spaceships are built for warriors. There's no luxuries here. No mood lighting, no decorations. It's just got this really bleak feel all over. But at least you get a change of scenery. Each ship has its own look and feel. If you're playing as the Marine, dudes, leave the lighter. You'll constantly be reaching for your weapons just to realise that you've run out of ammo. So that impossible silence, it really gives this game a sort of a, you know, a sci-fi thriller feel. But logging in as the alien or the predator, you get to throw all that right out the window. I mean, you get to do some really brutal murders. So dudes, when it comes to games, you obviously want to find something that shows off the true power of the Jag. I mean, that's the whole reason you get a console like this anyway. You want to feel the heat radiating off it, you know? Alien vs Predator? It's a test, and obviously the Jag can handle it, but can you? The Jaguar carts themselves can like fully pack 6 megabytes of data in there. Enough for all those wild explosions, aliens, locations, and intense CD quality sound effects that make this more than just a game. Welcome to 64 bits, dude. Take a deep breath if you need to can get pretty overwhelming for some people. At the end of the day man, this console, it doesn't mess around. I mean, any doubts? Just check out these controllers. 17 buttons. This thing is all about control. So some consoles, they like to hold your hand, ease you into it, guide you around. Not the same experience with the Jaguar. This console, it makes you work for your entertainment. And you know, coming over from the Sega or the Nintendo, you've never had this kind of control. Piloting 3D vehicles, running through halls, it's all cool that the graphics got an upgrade, but it's even more awesome that the controllers got an upgrade too. So enjoy the view. The Jaguar, it won't be released outside of Europe or the US. Pretty sure you'll start seeing the Jaguar leaking out across the world as a grey import. But you never know, the world is scared man. Technology like this reminds people that the future is coming. So there is a massive change coming with this whole CD thing. And it's only a matter of time until the Jaguar gets its own CD add-on. And you know, only time will tell how much more powerful they can actually make this thing.